guys and welcome to today's video. The first thing I'm going to kind of quickly touch on is my new hair colour. Got it dyed earlier this week. Um, I asked for slightly darker than I was before. But before I would say I was pretty much blonde and now I would say I'm definitely brunette. Um, and I don't really like cool hair. Cool as in like warm and cool. Um, and I think my ends are a little bit cool. So I'm kind of like in two minds about it. I I'm liking the dark, I have been quite light for quite a long time, so um, I'm quite enjoying that part of it, but I don't think the tone is quite right, so I'm probably going to end up changing it a little bit soon, but I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments, should I have not have gone any darker, which is always like a risky comment to ask, because I feel like if everyone says, oh no, dark doesn't suit you, I'll be back in the hairdressers going white again. But for now, I think I'm quite happy with it, I will definitely be lighter again in the summer, but I quite like the darker colour for winter. Today is my October beauty obsessions. I'm going to be honest, and I think I say this every time, I don't have that many products to talk about. I'm kind of getting a bit bored of these videos. They've been around for really long, I've been doing them for really long, and I'm kind of considering stopping them. I would love to hear your thoughts, like would you miss them or do you think it's okay if I stop doing them? I don't know, I probably do them like every now and then but I don't know if I would do them as every month as I try to do at the moment. But there are a few things to talk about, I'm going to start with hair. I don't think I spoke about any of these last month, I really hope I haven't, but I have really been loving both products this month. First one I'll start with is a Veda Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. I use this every day on my ends when my hair is wet and I just think it makes my hair quite soft, um, not as tangled as well. They have got one that you put in dry hair which I haven't quite got into as much just because I pretty much dry my hair and leave the house and I just feel like I forget to put it in. And I don't want to put it in my hair when it's just dry because I feel like your hair is not 100% dry until like a little bit after that. And then also in wet hair I have been using the Daveness. This is a volume boosting mousse. I guess Daveness volume boosting mousse. Love this so much. It's slightly sticky but pretty much nothing especially compared to other ones that I have used. Adds a nice amount of hold. Again not too sticky. You need it to be a little bit sticky otherwise it's going to have no hold whatsoever. I just really really like it basically. The whole Davines range, like I have loved. Actually, there was a green stuff I didn't like, but the pink range, the shampoo and conditioner, is incredible. Probably up there with like my favourite shampoo ever. One skincare product, so I'll touch on that, and this is the Kills Ultra Face Cream. I was using the Kills Ultra Face Balm. I have dry skin, and I just think that it didn't sink in enough. It just, it just wasn't for me. I didn't like it enough. But the Ultra Facial Cream is perfect. Like I said, I have very dry, dehydrated skin. So I still need a serum on top of this. As far as a moisturiser goes, I really like this. I've used a fair amount. I haven't been using it for that long. And this is the Staying Alive MTV like charity one. It kills the brand I have been really liking recently. Two base products to talk about. This is the Elizabeth Arden Privage Foundation. I feel like I've spoken about this in the favourites at some point. But I couldn't find it in my last favourites, I don't think. This isn't really aimed at my age group at all. I think it's a little bit older, but like I said, skin is dry. I need something that will hydrate my skin, and this really does this. It's pretty expensive. I think it's over the £50 mark, but really hydrating. I use shade 4. This is actually shade 7, just because I didn't find shade 4. But I use shade 4 on a daily basis. It's probably slightly too dark for me. Um, I would probably want maybe like number 3, or possibly even 2, so I could mix them and get like my perfect shade all the time. Um, but love this foundation so, so, so much. If you're into dewy skin, this is the one for you. I... I just need a bit of a glow and this really does that. It's not what I've got on today. No, it's not what I've got on today. But typically on a day-to-day -day basis I will use this. It's slightly pricey, but that's the only thing I would say. The face powder I've been using is Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Really, really loving this. Um, I don't think it flashes back too much because I used one today and I sat down in this chair and I had like bright white marks just because of my soft box that I use. This I don't think does that. I really regret not using this today. And you get a lot in it. And I don't think it's too expensive because I have the By Terry and the Sicily. And they're pretty pricey. This isn't that much. And I think you get more in this one than you do in the other two. And I haven't asked just so much about this. Weirdly get so many questions about this. I've never got as many questions about a translucent powder. 
but I really really like this and I would highly recommend it. Final two products, I did say this was going to be quick. Current favourite lipstick is YSL Rouge for Lup Day Shine in 44. It's very sheer, like almost nothing. It's just this really like nude, pretty pink, like dainty, nothing much on your lips, just like a touch colour. I love the smell of these so much. They look beautiful, like don't you just want to reapply this over and over? I'm a big YSL lipstick fan, generally. Um, but this colour has been in my handbag all month and I have reached for it non-stop. And then finally, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light. I've been putting off buying Hourglass for a bit because it's fairly expensive. Didn't think I was going to love it. I love this palette so, so much. It's been in my handbag for ages. It's got a powder, a highlighter, two blushes and a bronzer. I need to check that. Finishing powder, a blusher, a bronzer, a strobing powder and a blusher. So yeah, pretty much what it's got. And it's just the perfect handbag staple in my opinion. I use the powder quite a lot to set my makeup. It's quite a light one which I really like. There's just, there's nothing harsh in this palette. It's just really light, beautiful makeup in my opinion. The packaging is obviously stunning. I love that it's all in this like tiny little, not tiny but pretty small little palette. It's smaller than most of my eyeshadow palettes, I would say, and it has like five face products. It's really, really amazing, and it's, I believe it's still available, but it is limited edition, so if you are thinking of picking one up, I would highly recommend it. It's probably worth even asking for one for Christmas or buying one for a friend. You prob I don't think they'll last as long as Christmas, but it's worth picking one up now and gifting it later. And that's the end of my video. A pretty short one, as I mentioned, but... It's Saturday and I'm sure you're all out to fun Halloween events. I personally am not. I'm actually going out for dinner today to like a Caribbean place or something like that. Join me on Snapchat if you want to see that my Snapchat is a little obsessed. And I'm actually going out after this video is uploaded so you will probably still get to see my dinner. And I might even show you my outfit. I think I'm wearing my knee high boots which I haven't worn in a very long time. I'm just hoping they work with this like check shirt I have because I think I really like like really casual like dresses with like dressy shoes or vice versa i think that works works really well enjoy your halloween parties if you're off out but stay safe halloween is like one of those days but i'm sure you'll have like so much fun i've just been boring and like let all my friends down i was like sorry i'm a granny like i don't want to go don't know if they're that happy with me though if i'm honest there are two more vlogtober videos coming up one of them is trying on american makeup which will be on up tomorrow at 6 p.m on monday it's the second installment of mail monday which i hope you enjoy like this video if you enjoyed this video leave me comments and leave me love i would really appreciate that um, i have been loving all the comments i have been getting this month it's just been amazing thank you so much if you're a new subscriber for subscribing and if you're an old one like thank you for sticking by me and still watching i shall see you all tomorrow in my new video bye